I'm wondering how many of us actually use Cloud Code as it's supposed to with all the functionality it comes with. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing how to use bash commands and hooks inside Cloud Code. Do you know how to actually run Cloud Code properly? I think no. Uh, one of the key elements is actually using hooks, using subagents, and so on. Here, I'm going to show you how you can run a hook that helps you save tokens, which means save you dollars. Uh, I have one of my projects that I'm running, uh, the bedtime stories. Let me quickly ask, uh, can you check in the front and the node more boost and based files in it? In essence, what I'm showing here is that despite the fact that I have on the front end uh, node models listed as deny here. I'm asking Claude and it's actually able to fetch those things, which is not desired uh, behavior. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna get in from another project and I'm gonna be copying over a scripts file. The scripts folder has a validate bash file, which I'm gonna be sharing also via a GitHub uh, repo, I think, or in the comments. Uh, it's very straightforward. It says, hey, just check if one of those forbidden patterns in the paths is in the command and then just prohibit. And what we need to also add in here is, um, let's go in the previous repo, we need to add the hook in order to be able to execute this particular one. So if I run the same command, it shouldn't be running. The, the hook should be uh, prohibiting it from, from running. Voila. And that should save a bunch of tokens while it's not able to access uh, node models, which is not necessary uh, anymore. Thanks for watching. More videos coming up on top of productivity on AI and agentic programming. Stay tuned.